Good morning. Thank you very much uh, for coming. Uh, we'll have uh, two short statements from the Secretary General and the President, and uh, I'm afraid we won't have time for any questions this morning. Secretary General. Good morning, uh, Mr. President. Uh, it is a pleasure to welcome you back to NATO headquarters. Uh, Tajikistan uh, is a valuable partner, and you have been a trusted uh, partner for NATO for over a decade. Our meeting today reflects our shared interest in furthering uh, this relationship. You were the first uh, country uh, in Central Asia with whom we signed uh, a transit agreement for our uh, ISAF uh, mission. We greatly appreciate the support you have given to ISAF uh, nations in granting overflight rights and the use uh, of Dushanbe Airport. We look to deepen our dialogue with you on Afghanistan. Um, NATO and Tajikistan share a common interest uh, in a stable and secure Afghanistan. We are grateful for Tajikistan's political and practical support to our ISAF mission. I count on your uh, continued support as we prepare to end our combat mission in Afghanistan by the end of 2014. And as we stand up a new mission to train, advise, and assist uh, the Afghan forces after that date. We cooperate effectively in the area of counter-narcotics uh, through a training project set up by the NATO-Russia Council. The project has trained over 2,500 counter-narcotics personnel from across the region including over 300 officers from Tajikistan. And we look to expand this project in the, year, in the years ahead. We also appreciate uh, the new individual partnership cooperation program, uh, which we agreed uh, last year. Um, this partnership program also includes uh, a dialogue uh, on human rights uh, issues. This program aims to build cooperation in several areas, including the fight against terrorism, military education and training, and democratic control over the armed forces. Preparations are also underway to start a project to help you dispose ammunition stocks uh, near the Afghan uh, border. So we are already cooperating in many areas, and I'm convinced there is scope to expand this cooperation in the years ahead. Mr. President. Distinguished representatives of mass media, ladies and gentlemen, let me first of all thank Secretary General Rasmussen for his very warm welcome and today's quite productive and meaningful meeting. We are satisfied indeed of the negotiations we have had a little while ago. Tajikistan is in, 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 in its international engagement puts a great deal of emphasis on effective solution of pressing security issues. In this regard, we are determined to intensify our cooperation with the parties and with other NATO member states uh, within the framework of the global organizations and regional institutions. Cooperation with North Atlantic Treaty Organization under the Peace Part Be Peaceful Partnership Program, which has been commenced from the very early days of operations of international combat troops in Afghanistan, is an inseparable link of our peace-building efforts. Along with the issues of the current state and a prospect of cooperative partnership between the parties, Afghan conflict was one of the key subjects of our discussions with Mr. Secretary General. On the margins of our uh, very uh, productive negotiations, given upcoming development in a 2014 and a new transformation period in Afghanistan, we, with Secretary 
Secretary General have reaffirmed the need for civilian efforts and effective measures to restore peace and safety in neighboring Afghanistan. We have acknowledged that Afghanistan's active involvement in regional economic integration would be an effective instrument in achieving endurable peace in this country. Tajikistan, in, in this connection, has explicitly declared it, its strong willingness to allow its facilities to the course of lasting peace and socio-economic rehabilitation of Afghanistan. We have also had useful exchange of views upon the issues of peace and stability in Central Asia, which has become a region of international communities particular interest. Fighting global modern threats and challenges, including counter-terrorism, extremism, drug trafficking and transnational organized crime, were raised by both of us during our discussion. It has been mentioned that Tajikistan, due to its geographical location, as in the front line of countering threats and challenges, and plays a pivotal role and uh, plays a role of a shield preventing further expansion of such menaces. It is known that it is difficult and even impossible to resist to the existing global threats and challenges alone. We therefore need in our international allies support and reaffirm that Tajikistan looks forward to receiving trust funds facilities under Partnership for Peace program to scope with the, the challenges and needs our country experiences. I've noted that emergency warning and natural disasters prevention could be another important field of our interaction with NATO. NATO has uh, enormous experience and skilled expertise in these areas. We remain committed to further enhancing fruitful cooperation with NATO to increase the capability and the effectiveness of our intelligence services. Tajikistan in general looks positively to a prospect of its partnership with NATO, and we hope that our collaboration in these areas of shared concern will be enhanced in future. I thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much.